Dude, what happened to your rod? I, dude, I don't know. Dude, I was just reeling in and I heard like a and I looked up and the rod's broken. So did you even do anything or no? No, I was just reeling in, man. We haven't even started fishing yet. First cast. And you've never broken a rod before. I've never broken a rod. This is the first rod I've ever broken. Air temp feels like 22 degrees. Water temp 39.6. It's pretty cold out here. The last two days I've been out fishing, I've gotten skunked. We've got to break that streak. I've just finished re-rigging. I've taken off uh, these baits right here. They didn't work very well yesterday, so I'm not gonna use them. The mantra for the day is gonna be fish slow, and when you think you're fishing slow enough, fish slower. And slow down some more. Water. Keep your bait in the water. Slow down some more. Let's take a look at what I've got rigged up. So in the starting lineup, we've got a Ned rig, suspending jerk bait, blade bait, jig, and finally, little swim bait on a quarter ounce jig head. Oh wow, dude, trout, trout. Oh, that's trout. Trout. Throw at it. Throw at it. Oh, what's right on the money? Jerk. Yeah, jerk. 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 Is that rainbow? Yeah, it must. They are brown. They're big brown still. Oh man. All right, well, we found at least one fish. That's good. That's I knew they'd sign. be around here, too. Right by that rock jetty. Yeah. Pretty much everything feeds here. Oh! There he is, dude. You got him? Yep. Oh, my gosh. Big fish. Is it the trout that we just saw? I don't that know. Oh, my gosh. Dude, the kayak got your first cast. It's an absolute monster. <laughs> Whatever this is, is really big. Dude, a freaking nuts. Fast. Fast? Big fast. Jeez. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, what the heck is going on over there? How big are we talking? How big are we talking? Yeah, very big. Uh, oh, yeah, I see, I see something down there. Oh, yeah. There's five, five trout rods. Right? Oh, dude, that's a nice, dude, that's a freaking toad. Nice one. Yeah. Get him in. Yes. Got him. We got Good him. start. Woo. Mm. Look at this freaking fish. That's up. That's or, 10 or, minutes in the fishing. That is a nice one. Probably a, over a three pounder, I'd say. Three, two, three, three. Let's, Let's get a quick it. weight on him. Here you go. All right. I'm saying three, two. Three, two. He's fat, though. He's got nice proportions on I him. I got him. I got three, four. 3.70. Three, zero. three seven, huh? Three nice. Point seven, three and a half man. pounder. That's nice. Like I was just telling Mike, I'm using a five foot five light rod, four pound test line in this three inch Kai Tech. It was a struggle to get him in. It's gonna be a battle, but that's the only way you can really catch these fish when the water is 39. And hopefully that's not the only bass we're gonna see today. What do you think, Mike? Hey, I'm hoping, dude, you crushed it yesterday. You're crushing today already. I Let's think it's gonna it. be an awesome day. 39 degree water, dude. Here, can you take a... Uh... Fish? Jada's got one. And oh my God. Dude, this rock jetty's on fire. Keep it on, double up. It's a fish, man. We'll take anything right now. It's a big snake. Oh, it's a big snake. Hey, we'll take it. Oh, big snake. Oh my god! Let's what go. the heck? <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Double up. 39 degree water. A 3.7 largemouth and a big old snake. You haven't fished this reservoir in what, six months? At least. At least. What are you fishing with? The Kai Tech, man. The Kai Tech, guys. Dude, the Kai Tech. The Kai Tech that you hooked me up with. All right, let's let him go. Yo, he just spit up bait fish. Did he? Yeah. Yo, let's take a look at this. Eric's letting his go. Oh, there she goes, dude. Nice and easy. Now, All right, watch. guys. Oh, oh you're right there. Don't, don't fall in. Don't go in. The day's over if you fall over. in. I'm pulling over. Here you go. All right, the guys have just spit up this bait fish, man. What is matches that? Matches that Kitek. Little herring. Little herring? Little matches herring. the Kitek. Where's your Kitek? Let's see it. Look, that oh. literally matches it. That's mine matches mine matched match. it to the T. Hang on, this. Boom. Eight ounce, man. It's good because it's lightweight. You just got to wait. Like Eric said yesterday, wait that extra 30 seconds for it to get to the bottom. It's worth patience. it. You're going to get bit more. It's patience. Catch more fish. Yeah, I mean, I'm throwing it. I, he said before, man, I had a 14 pound leader on. I switched to an eight pound fluorocarbon and I just caught a fish in the first 15 minutes. Beautiful, man. And those aren't the only fish we're going to see today. Nice pickerel. Get a release on this bad boy. There he goes. There he goes. All right, man. Good stuff. Boom. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> that is how we start the morning. Yes. You're going to be a full on high five. All right, there you go, dude. <laughs>
I'm switching to the Kai Tech. Yeah. Big school of heron right here, guys. And that's why the fish are in this cove. Yep, 13 feet of water, cold, but the fish are around the bait, and if we fish slow enough with the right gear, we can get them to bite. It's gotta be. Wait. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big fish. It's, even, it's, even, it's hardly fighting, man. Yeah, but he's dogging you. It's yeah. probably a bass. It's a good fish. It's a good fish on here. Oh, it's a pickle. Oh no. not even fighting. It's a snot. It's not rocket. You want me to flip yeah. him? Oh god, my god. All right, here we go, guys. I broke the streak. Uh, I'll take it. Mike's NJ skunk is over. Oh, my god. It's barely over, but it's over. Look at that, dude. He has a hook sticking out of his mouth. All right, guys, look so at he this. has a separate hook in him? He does. I'm going to pull it out for him. Just like a Sanko look hook? Yeah. I don't know. Some kind There's of... Another hook in him. Another snot rocket. Skunk's off, guys. So right now, we are making a long run across the lake. It's electric only, so it's going to take about 30 minutes or so. To keep you guys occupied, we're going to do a little unboxing. It's going to be a special unboxing. It's going to be the mystery cookie unboxing. Shout out to J-Dub's mom with the hookup. She baked us all kinds of cookies. Let's take a quick look and uh, give you a quick review on each of these. The classic chocolate chip cookie. Snickerdoodle, chock full of brown sugar and cinnamon. Cranberry and orange, a little bit sweet, a little bit tart. Very good balance. The classic sugar cookie with vanilla frosting and sprinkles because who doesn't like sprinkles? This might be my favorite cookie in the basket. It's some type of bark, chocolate, caramel, wafer. Your mom needs to sell these, dude. It'd be, a t it'd be a hit. And last but not least, we've got this guy. It looks like the sugar cookie, but it's actually, what do you call it? Anise. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an anise cookie. So, you know, a lot of uh, bass anglers like using anise as an attractant or a scent cover up in their bait. So uh, I think Jada's mom was thinking about me as a bass fisherman when she uh, made this cookie, which is actually very popular, especially around holidays. If you guys have never tried an anise cookie, highly recommend it. And uh, if you ever have any extra, you can also use it as a uh, bait attractant as well. Oh no, you only fish. There he is. What, what is Fish? Yeah. What the heck? Big fish. A big fish? Oh, that wasn't that, wasn't that. Oh, Right after that freaking duck. You sure it's not the duck? Oh, it is isn't. No, it's not the duck. Oh, Jesus. You sure? Oh, I'm positive. It's a small mouth. It's a small leaf. Has to Dude, be. You're the freaking bass master. Oh, this is really big. Oh. Using a five foot, five inch rod, four pound line on the blade bait. Oh my god! What the heck, dude? That freaking. Dude, there's a giant large mouth. Yeah. It's like a six pounder. Holy pajizo! Oh, here he. Oh, it's a walleye! It's a walleye! Oh my god! There's a monster walleye! You were just talking about that! Oh shit! Ah, oh, we're good. We're good for now. Where is he? How far deep? How far deep? He's down there. Oh yeah, he's down there. I see him. I see him. Oh my god! Dude! What the hell is that's a oh, lake that's trout? A, that's a giant pickerel. Oh, dude, that's, that's a the freaking, biggest pickerel I've ever seen in my life. The state record pickerel. Get him in. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what the? Dude, is that a state record pickerel? Is that state record? I did it again. Is that a state record though? Definitely not, but. No? Oh, you, you look disappointed, bro. Oh, come on. Are you telling me that I just topped the pickerel I caught in your video last year? <laughs> this is your personal best snot rocket, man. You love pickerel. I love pickerel. Holy <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs> look at the back on that thing. That is the biggest pickerel I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> we got to get weight on it, dude. We got to make it official. 
Look at this. I might, I might as well let him chop up my hand too, so we could just make it a, <laughs> exactly like. Holy Eric, crap! Eric's freaking hand got destroyed. We're gonna take a look at that. Clip. I'm not letting right it happen now. this time. This guys, got him. Yep. Oh, good, good one. one, dude. Nice, nice on the blade bait. Nice man. Let's see, let's see what you got here. Grab him. Got him. Wow. Let's go. Dude, that's a giant! Wow. Holy... Wow, that's the biggest pickle. Oh, I think I just caught. got unpegged. That's the biggest pickle. That's what I'm I've talking about, man. That is 26 inches. 26, wow, 26 inches. Inch. Not rocky. Getting a little good. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. Hang on, hang on. Yep. My hand is stuck. Oh, yeah. You right? Oh, Ow. Oh, dude. Ow. Oh. Getting cut up. Oh, shh. My hands yeah. got mangled. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh my dude, you alright? Yeah. Five and a half pounds, dude. You want you want me to release her? You want to yeah, release I'll her? Go ahead and release all right. Her. Beautiful fish, dude. That's a beauty. Whoa, no, my grippers! Ah. No, wait, hang on, let me know. I got it, I got it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh <my> <laughs> alright, now you can go. Now you can go. <laughs> yeah, she's going. Look she's at going. That thing, dude. Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking yeah, about, man. Oh, dude, yeah, no, the pickerel, good. he got you a little bit. You got to be careful. Scars. Battle scars, man. That's Holy why I moly! Hate snot rockets. Oh, dude. Whew. The, the pickerel injury. Don't underestimate those pickerel oh, guys. Do not. Do not. <laughs> and that was just from the gill plate teeth, not even the main teeth. It was not even from the main teeth. Yeah, let's not make that mistake this time. I'm thinking seven. Dude, that's a freaking six, monster. He's probably gonna be like six something. Yeah. Seven four. All right, let's get the official weight of Eric's personal best pickerel. What do you think? Six something. Oh gosh. It's gotta be six. Six point nine four. Six Almost nine. Seven, seven pounds. This is seven pound pickerel, dude. Oh, oh my, my god. I right, hold the grippers. Just keep the grippers on him so you can it's hold. A couple them. pounds off the state record right there. Yeah. Do you know what the state record is? It's nine. State record is nine. Yeah. State record is nine. Dude, you just missed the freaking state record. Can you believe that? How does it feel to get your PB pickerel, man? Honestly, not bad. Like, <laughs> this is a giant pickerel. I'm gonna give it that. This is... Oh, oh, don't hurt yourself. Oh. That thing is vicious. Yeah, <laughs> this thing is a beast. Ooh. Four pound test. A four pound test. That's gotta be a line record for a pickerel. Seven pounder on four pound test. Gluttonous beast back. Hold on, let's go for the release. Yep, there she goes. Dude, <laughs> that is freaking awesome, man. Dude. I guess I'm known as the Pickerel Man on this channel. That's fine. <laughs> Prince of New Jersey. The Prince pickerel of Pickerel. Pickerel King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wish, I wish we were fishing. I missed That's miscellaneous awesome. tournament. Well, out of time. Wait, great. That was a great day. No, I got it. I got this. Okay. We got oh, this. The outro. We got this, guys. Eric's, Eric's fans, we're going to do this outro right now. One take wonder, Asian boy wonder. Let's go. Well, out of time. Great day of winter fishing. This time of the year, you're not really going for quantity. You're grinding out those one or two really, really good bites, which uh, Eric definitely managed to do. Hey, thanks again for having me out, man. Yeah, man, anytime. I really enjoy fishing ah, with you. Definitely be sure to check out his channel. I learned quite a bit fishing with Eric today, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not a very experienced winter fisherman. This is only my second season ever fishing during the winter. So I'm gonna try to spend a lot of time over the next few months learning as much as I can on uh, how to catch the super finicky cold water fish. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the winter fishing videos coming up. See ya. Look at how fast he swims. Oh yeah, oh dude, that is insane. Look at that freaking duck. Dude, he is, ins that's so freaking cool. He just keeps coming. Dude, the bird is so cool here. Oh, that's awesome.